In this segment, the leader uses a concept from reality therapy. Also note how the leader uses the whiteboard and writing. We believe that making concepts visual for group members is often very useful. In listening to you all talk about your issues, I think there's something that I can show you that would really bring some clarity to the things that you've all been working on. I learned it from a guy named Bob Wolverbeam, and it's really simple. It's, it's another tool that I can give to you. As we talked about, one of the purposes of the group is for you to have tools to, so that you can use when you leave here. And it's actually, let me let, let's take a piece of paper, pass one around, and I'm going to write this up on the board to show this to you. As I write, I want you to write the same thing on your paper, okay? I'd like you to go ahead and write these letters on your paper, just as I'm doing up on the board. W, D, E, P. Okay? The W stands for want. What is it that you really want? Okay? <clears throat> I want you to ask yourself that question. What is it that you really want? What's something that you really want? Better Morgan? relationship with my father. Better relationship with your father. Go ahead and write that there right after the want. You can. Eric, what is something you really want? Drop a little weight. Okay. Eat better, exercise. Stuff Go stuff. ahead and fill that out on yours. JP? I think I'd like a more interesting life. All right. Put that down. Fran? A good, like, healthy kind of relationship. Good choice. Go ahead and write that in. And Jen, what is it that you really want? I think more closeness in my friendships. Okay. Put that on there. <clears throat> now I'm going to go through the rest of the letters and you'll be able to apply this little formula to what it is that you really want. I'd like you to look at your papers underneath what it is that you want and ask yourself, what are you doing? What are you currently doing? Okay. Let's move down to the E. The E stands for evaluate. We're going to take some time here for the in, in group and we're going to take a look at let's evaluate if what you're currently doing is really getting you what it is that you want, okay? That's what we're gonna spend some time. Ask yourself that question, is what I'm currently doing, so take a little evaluative measure, is what I'm currently doing getting me what it is that I want? Eric, I see you kind of shaking your head over there. I don't know if eating cookies are helping me get what I want. <laughs> Probably not. It's, it's, when I do this part with people, I, and when I do it even on myself, I kind of ask myself, how's that working for you, Heidi? And so I'm thinking, eating cookies, wanting to lose weight, how's that working for you, Eric? Not so good. Yeah, not so good. And again, this is just something we could take a look at. It's almost like a little four-step inventory. Once we get clarity on what it is we want, then really what the next step is to come see if what we're currently doing is getting us there. And if it isn't, that's where the P comes in. And really, that's the purpose of this group is for us to be able to come up with a plan Go ahead and write plan on your paper to get what it is you really want. And sometimes that requires support, that requires some direction, new suggestions, building some new skills. Okay? Excellent work, Heidi, and thank you. We can't emphasize enough how important it is for a therapy group leader to be able to use a theory with the member's issues. We have found that many graduating students are unfortunately lacking in theory. We urge you to seek additional workshops to solidify your use of theories. The use of theories in groups is a natural lead-in to the next section, conducting therapy in groups. Everything you've observed and learned thus far has brought us to this point. 